Disney's film Mulan. Did you notice the round castles where Mulan's family live? Such traditional Chinese buildings are too low. In southeast China's Fujian province, over 3,000 tulos gather in the mountains more than any other province in China. Some of them are circular, while others are rectangular. They also vary in size and height. A tulo usually has three to five floors, covering an area of around 5,000 square meters, which is about the size of a standard football field. A tulo can accommodate hundreds of people, who live and work together, sharing the public areas including the lobby and the courtyard, as well as the public facilities such as the well and the stairs. So a tulo functions as a village unit. It brings unity to the clan, passing down the ancestral culture. The earliest tulo was built in the 13th century, when the Hakka people moved to Fujian during the war. To settle here permanently, the Hakka people built the Tulo based on the local geographical environment for both living and defense purpose. Featuring mud walls that is over 1 meter thick, a foot fighter entrance, high windows and secret tunnels, the Tulo can defend against enemies effectively. In 2008, the Fujian Tulo was inscribed on the UNESCO's World Heritage List. Nowadays, the Tulo are no longer defensive buildings, but they still reflect the ideas of harmony and collaboration of communal living, testifying to the dynamic Hakka culture. When you get a chance, why not visit Fujian Tulo to take a look at this sophisticated and dramatic earthen building?